Hi, welcome to a short tutorial on healing and damaging messages inside of the game maker. Uh, maybe you want the character to heal when they pick up a certain item or sit in a certain area, uh, or maybe you want some spikes or some lava to damage your avatar. Um, I'll be showing you how to do that today. So first off, uh, we're going to put down uh, two things. Uh, one is a key, one is spikes. Uh, so we want the spikes to do damage to the player and we want the key to heal the player when picked up. So uh, what we're going to do for the key, um, we're going to go ahead and do a uh, collectible. Now there are two types of messages that are built into the game maker. Uh, so this one here, we got capital H for heal and we can do double dot and whatever number we want. So it can be 50, 60, 70. Um, and when a player picks that up, it will heal for 50. Uh, but there is a middleman we must do, I believe. Um, and for the spikes, same thing. We can do speaker component. Uh, we'll get rid of the message. We can make it detect entity. Uh, we can bring it underground. We'll make it smaller. So it's just on the spikes, maybe 1.5. Um, edit your logic and then we can do damage double dot 50. Now when the avatar is in that range we'll increase it just so it works. Uh, it will do damage 50. When the player picks up the key it will heal 50. Now I don't believe this will work but we're going to test it out anyway and as you can see nothing's happening here and the key won't heal either. Now the reason being is that the only way these messages work uh, that I'm aware of is using message broadcasters. So we'll go ahead and get a message broadcaster happening. And we want it to wait uh, before broadcast. And what we can do here, here is change this message to say heal me. And we can change this one here to uh, damage They're just, they're not default messages, uh, but this is what we'll send to the numpad. So for this one here, uh, we'll say damage me. Excellent. And what we'll do is we will damage for 50. So what happens now is the spikes will send the message to the message broadcaster, which will then send it to the avatar. As you can see, I took 50 damage. Uh, but when I pick up the key, nothing will happen. So what we'll do here, uh, before I move on to that next part, I'll explain that it's doing 50 damage to everything. So if anything has a health component, uh, it will damage that as well. So we can bring out an example, give it a health. And now when we walk to the spikes, it only had 50 damage, so it died, and I took 50 damage as well. If I walk back in, uh, after five seconds it will kill me so what happens with this timer here you can change that to one so after you run away from the circle for one second it will work again and then kill me okay um, but what we want to do here is not damage everything on the map we want to just damage the avatar so you just change here um, and you can do specific tags in range uh, you can put the tag as avatar. Excellent. And that yellow range is where the damage will happen. Uh, you can do the whole map just by pressing 90. Uh, it will cover everything. So now when we test it and walk to the spikes, I take 50 damage, but this guy here still has his full health. Excellent. Now all we need to do now is control D to duplicate that. We'll go ahead and change that to heal me. And we can change that to heal whatever number you want. It can be 50, it can be 100, it can be two. Um, but the point is now uh, it will damage me and then this will heal me. So it has to be sent by a message broadcaster for the healing and damage uh, to work. So um, there's your default message and there's your default message. The only other default messages I know of is interact. Um, that will work. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, 
this is all you really need to know to get the damage and healing healing sorted for your characters. Um, now the next thing here is maybe you want the lava block to damage the player when they stand on it. So to find that setting is up here in global parameters. You go to controller, you go to components, and then you can see at the bottom here damaging blocks. So go ahead and click add, and then we can type in lava, and there's our lava block. At the moment it does 20 damage. I think it does 20 damage a second. Let's go and test that out. So if we go and stand on a block, you can see it's damaging us, right? Then we can pick up a key to heal. Walk up to the spikes, does 50 damage. So, and the same can be done with, um, just say you want water to heal you. You know, you can't say heal me in the uh, settings up here. So if we go back to these settings, uh, it has damaging blocks, but it doesn't have healing blocks, right? Um, but what you can do is you can have a healing ring. So we can go here to, ah, we can delete that. We can just duplicate the one we already have, Control D. And what we can do here is we can heal the avatar. Let's just say five, no, four, three. We'll just make it nice and small, so it's three. Um, and we don't want to wait for message broadcast and we can change the timer um, to whatever we want so like every one second it will heal um, and it says heal 50 but let's do something smaller let's do heal 3 okay um, and then we make it invisible get rid of the logic up here and we can turn off collisions so the player can't run into it so what we've essentially done is that if the player goes and damages itself, you can walk in the pool to heal three damage every second. Then we can jump on a block, get damaged, heal in a pool every three seconds. It, uh, every second it will heal for three uh, and can pick up a key to do bigger, dam uh, bigger heals. Um, but there's your basics for healing and damaging inside the game maker. If you have any questions, uh, send me a message on Discord, more than happy to help. Have a great day.